name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. So today, oh my gosh, we are going to use this bad boy. And let me tell you, spoil alert, you need this. If you haven't bought it, you need it. The colors inside are absolutely stunning. They perform amazing, which is why you need it. So if you want to see how I used this palette, stay tuned. I'm looking forward to getting started. Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. They smell good. You know that when you go, mmm, it must mean it smells good. All right, so we're going to try to pick this up here as maybe our, ooh. Ooh. Look at that. I'm going to be all a contour. Holy crud. There's some contour. Oh Lord. All right, so we've got some killer contour going on. <laughs> Let's see if we can't bring that down on this side just a wee bit. Maybe blend it out just a wee bit. So I'm gonna use the candy pudding see how this blends because that which I did use the NYX stick first so it you know there we go oh look how pretty it blends perfect and the crowd goes wild okay so now we are going to pick up some blush and I think I'm gonna go with this one here it's a little more muted because you know I like it more muted Oh my God, this palette smells so good. I mean, it smells really, really pretty. Okay, so I didn't have luck swatching this, so let's see when I first got it. Let's see what happens today, shall we, folks? Can't tell if it's picking up any or not. How's it look? Ooh, look how pretty it is on camera. Okay, okay. So I didn't have a good time swatching that when I first bought this, so that's cool. Me like. We are gonna start with this kind of taupish color and it's called Caravan as our base. That's a pretty base, okay. Mama likes, mama likes. Do you ever have those days where you just it's like the worst day you feel like ever. Maybe not ever, but not a good one. And then the next day it's like life totally changes, turns around and it's really good. That's kind of what happened to me yesterday and today, which I much rather have it this way. Yesterday being bad, today being good versus yesterday being good and today being bad. I'll take it. All right, so we're gonna build up our crease with this color here called Cloud Nine. These are pretty pigmented. So I'm just going in heavy today. Is that go big or go home? I'm really torn between this brown and this kind of purple color. I think I'm gonna go with this purpley color. Well, not purpley, but um, mauve maybe. Looking pretty. All right, then we're gonna come up here to this call, this color called Trinket. You know what, I forgot to do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna take this color, I believe here called Whirl, and that's gonna go the under lash line. All right, next I'm gonna pick up a pencil brush and I'm gonna go with this green. This green says, hello, please use me. And I'm saying, okay, I will. I really like these colors. They're kind of muted, more matte, not your brights, which I think is gonna look really nice for fall. So I'm kind of pumped, kind of pumped. So what kind of colors are y'all interested in for fall? Like, I mean, a lot of the palettes are coming out nude and really pretty overall. 
or nude earthy tone kind of colors. Do you like the earthy kind of colors? Are you having trouble getting moved over to that instead of bright colors? Like, what's your, what's your guys' thoughts on fall? I love this time of year. I am a pumpkin spice everything girl. Unless I go to Starbucks, then I stick with my normal cinnamon dolce latte. It's warm in here today. So I bought these eyeliners off because of course, you know, media. And they're from Thrive Cosmetics and it's supposed to be infinity waterproof. So I got it in a blue. So this is supposed to be like an olive green, a brown, a navy, and a black. And ragweed, there's our green. Ragweed is in effect right now. Oh my lord, totally match at all. The green, this green is more of a blue green. This one is definitely olive but that's not stopping me. So now I'm deciding, do I use the brown on top or do I use the black? Hmm, there's just so many decisions. All right, we're gonna, I think we're gonna start with the brown. We can always change it to black. This one is called Ella. Wish me luck. So I'm curious to see how these stand up to my little watery eyes. And of course, you guys are gonna know if I love them because you will see them pop up in more videos. And I will be thrilled that these can stand up to my watery eyes. Oh, I didn't tell y'all. I'm super pumped today. I go through my, for my final walkthrough on the house today at three. So I am super pumped about settling down in Texas with a new house. And so today is the walkthrough. Tomorrow is the actual closing. And then we take possession on it the first. So super, super pumped about our new, ho our new home, our new house because it's just gonna be nice to be settled. Um, I've enjoyed traveling back and forth um, this year as much as I did but and I, I love the little rental house that I'm in it's absolutely adorable but it's not mine and so I'm you know I'm looking forward to having our own spot so the funny thing not funny haha -ha, well maybe funny haha -ha, is that um, my husband and I have lived apart this whole time, flying back and forth to see each other. And holy crud, I've learned how to be a bachelorette. Like I don't have to keep food in the house other than my cheese because that's all I eat. And I, yeah, so I sleep in when I want to and I'm not gonna be a bachelorette after this weekend. I'm going back to wife status. All right, we're gonna let those dry. So yeah, I'm like, it's gonna be crazy off the hook to go back to wife status. So it, yeah, when you're single, well, I guess I'm single and married. <laughs> you just do whatever you want. And it's not that I didn't do whatever I wanted with when I lived with Rob, because I always did whatever I want. So does he, that's the beauty of our marriage. We don't, um, we respect each other and we let each other have their own spaces. But, you know, living apart for basically nine months, you just kind of get used to a habit of not having to think about anyone but yourself. What if he moves back in with me and he doesn't like me anymore? I mean, hell, I know we've been together 18 years, but what if he's decided that he really likes to be a bachelor? What if he's nervous about moving back in with me? That would be hilarious inquiring minds want to know is the husband nervous too he just got so much energy oh my gosh he's like 
a three-year-old on speed. He doesn't really need to sleep. He just goes, goes, goes. He's always has so many like projects going simultaneously. And that's just how he lives in Blue Ridge. So he doesn't have all those same connections here. So it's going to be really interesting. I have a feeling he's going to be running my tail off and I'm going to be really tired. All right, so I'm gonna go blow dry my hair and then I'll be back and kind of give you kind of a wrap up of my final thoughts of this palette. Am I in love? Am I in lust? What am I with this palette? You're gonna find out soon. Thank you so much for watching this video using the Tarte Christmas Selection. Collection, selection. You know what I mean. But anyways, I love this little thing. Oh my gosh, so okay. The box is cute. It looks already like a present. Like you could just put a ribbon on this or a bow and bam. Look how beautiful this would be under the tree. But not only is it gonna be beautiful under the tree. Hello. It's gonna be beautiful on you. So let's open up this little bad boy. And okay, I love the, I love this look. I love, I just love 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 what is in here so again I, I think I told y'all in my other video when my Christmas video that the things that I purchased I like this little area in here to put your nooks and crannies maybe a few jewelry pieces as you are traveling and really this book is all you need to take with you um, it came with a lippy an eyeliner and some mascara now when I swatched in my other video from the Sephora Christmas launch, I it didn't swatch well. And so I was like, oh, Tarte's letting me down. And I'm not really used to Tarte letting me down. So I was like, uh, I'm not sure about this. But today I used the ba -dit -ba -dit. <sighs> contour. Use the contour goes on really kind of dark in one fell swoop. I use some of the blush, but let's go back to this little highlighter. Kapow! So I don't know why it didn't swatch well because on the cheek, it to me, it looks lovely. So I love the fact that you get your contour, your blush, your eyes, you get everything in this little box. Now let's talk about the eyeshadows. Pigmentation! that's all you need to know is pigmentation it does have a little bit of fallout in on some of them on bits but overall I think they went well they blended amazing so even though they had a lot of pigmentation at first I was like whoa that's a little darker than I meant I was able to go ahead and blend it out same thing with the contour so when I put the contour on my face it was like holy crud and I was able to, to blend it out and it looked just fine so on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, I'm gonna give this bad boy a 10. I really like this. I think that you should probably use or purchase this for your collection. I can't see why you wouldn't want to because it's stunning. I love all the colors. I love that they're kind of warm and rich and just, I don't it, it just screams holiday. This one absolutely screams the fall holiday, Christmas holiday season. So I really, really, really love this palette. I can't say enough great things about this one. In fact, I love it so much that it's actually gonna stay on my main work area so that I can just have it at my fingertips. Absolutely love this palette. So again, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being best, I give it a 10, I love it. I love, love, love this whole collection. So I think you need to buy it, that's all I'm saying. Get ready to spend some money. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate all of you out there in YouTube land. And if you have any comments, questions, thoughts, just basically or wanna chit chat, those go right below. I do wish you a wonderful day and you have a choice to so make it a great one. Until next time.